G'day pedals, and welcome back to the loading screen. <laughs> okay, so I put out a call to Lady Elro. I can never say her name right, so I'll put her link in the description below. You'll see it. Uh, to say, please, pretty, pretty, please, can you build me a roof? Because she is an amazing builder, and you've got to go and sub to her and like check out all of her builds. And oh, so good. We'll go and look at her house in a minute. She said yes, and she's built the house. And she has sent me a picture of it, but I also know for a fact that there's something else. So I thought I'd take you guys with me, because I haven't logged in yet to see it. Uh, so I'm a little nervous, because I know that she pulled a little bit of a trick. And how bad this is going to be, I'm not sure. So, here goes. The suspense is ridiculous. Here we go. Okay. Now we're in wisp form. I can see one already. Look. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. What the hey? Ew. There's worms everywhere. A moon worm. Ew, they wiggle. Oh, they wiggle. I hope you like the new roof. In the building process, there might have been a little worm fest infestation. Lady Hilaro. <laughs> Ugh. They're so gross. Oh, did that pick him up? No, I guess I broke him. How do you pick him up? You right click him? Okay, well, I guess it's going to be easy to clean up. Oh, God! Oh, look at my roof! Oh, my gosh. She is amazing. This is so... This is just the inside. Oh, and then... Oh, oh, I like it. Let's go outside and have a look. Oh, oh this is going to be so good. She didn't moon glow outside. Yes, she did. Oh, my gosh. Look at this! Oh, and there's like shutters. Oh, the Swiss chalet feel. Oh my gosh. Lady, you are amazing. Look at this. Oh, I love it. She's even left my silly little veranda thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. This looks so good. Ooh, I like this deck. This is really good. Ooh, ender pals. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, this is so good. Let's break the these and replant them. They grew because she was here. <laughs> wow. This is so good. I love this so much. There is no way I could have come up with something this good. There's absolutely no way. I am hopeless at building. Oh, look at this. Amazing! Oh, I'm just going to keep raving about this. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. So I just gave her access to my chests and stuff, and she's just gone and used all the marble and <gasps> the dark oak. And oh, see, I never would have thought to leave that like that. Man, maybe I should take some lessons. Maybe I should. You know what? We're going to go over it and give her some love. So let's go and this is her place. We're like right now. We're neighbors. We're purple neighbor sisters, except she seems to be pink neighbor sister. That's okay. Look at this. This is all new. I've never seen these all these trees here. Oh, she's got some rainbow trees. Rainbow. Oh, time wood. <gasps> Hear the tick? Look at this. She's only been on the server for a couple of weeks, and she's got, like, an incredible... I don't even know what these things are doing. I might have to collab with her, and she's going to have to teach me some stuff. This is crazy. What's this? Oh, that's her mine. Okay. She's got a cow farm. Wow, this is like incredible. And then this is all set up. Wow. Look how cool this looks. Man. We need to get to work, Paddles. We need to get some stuff done. With Peeky Poo in her in her house. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, okay. You know, 
I don't, I'm not even sure how I'm going to repay her because what can I come up with that's going to be good to come up with to repay her? This is amazing. And she's got the rainbow oaks going. Oh, we have some of those saplings. We should really plant them. And oh, look at how cute this is. Wow, what is... She's got a second layer down here. There's her Britannia stuff. And there's her twilight portal. Which I haven't even made. Look how cool this looks. That really is effective with the basalt. Oh my gosh. I would never have thought of doing that either. Oh, she's so good. We suck so bad. <laughs> Feeling very inadequate. And then this, I believe, is a monster, is a, a mob spawner, which I can honestly tell you I've never seen before. I saw one in passing, and it was just a, I don't know. So, this is incredible, lady Elero. You are definitely a benefit to the server. You are incredible, and I really, really want to do a collab with you about something. I don't know. I still feel inadequate. But there you go. Oh. Oh. Wow. 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 I'm humbled. I'm humbled and amazed. I freaking love this roof. It is perfect. It's like everything I could have possibly hoped for and not even thought of. <laughs> so. You're incredible. Go and show some Lady Aileru some love from me. Some lilac love. Now this looks out of place. We might have to... Nah, we'll leave it. Alright, so today, Tinker's Constructs. We're going to make a one-shot killer. I think I need to make an elevator so that... Because, yeah. I'm going to have to keep going in my front door. Or sneaky, sneaky upper, I don't know, door up above or something. But, um, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Incroyable. Amazing. Simply amazing. Alright, so we're going to do Tigger's Construct. I'm going to go and gather all those things together because I haven't really done it because I've been trying and failing to make a roof. So, But um, I'll be right back. <laughs> Love it so much. Okay, before we go off to make our signal and crossbow, I set this up to make a whole stack of dark steel because we need the dark steel to make dark iron bars to make the dark reinforced <laughs> stuff so the um, let's see we're making dark steel which requires iron pulverized coal and obsidian so I put that through the alloy smelter and we now have a sack and a bit so we need to make some bars that gives us 16 maybe if we make like 32 for now and then we need to go here and then like this that gives us eight pieces it's not a whole lot we may end up having to make some more of the dark steel after all. That's 11 pieces. We need a lot more than that. We're out of dark steel. So yeah, we're going to have to make a lot more. So we'll get some iron. We're probably going to have to smelt some more. Yeah, we are. So we'll have to put this through the pulverizer, which is... Oh, no, where's, where's the pulverizer? Where's my pulverizer gone? Where's my pulverizer gone? Oh, in my inventory, as you do, because that's where you put it. So we'll go there. Uh, it's got full, so that's fine. So we'll just pulverize the iron, then we'll smelt it up, and we'll have enough. But in the meantime, now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and put together. Oops, we'll put it in this chest. Actually, not that one, this one? Yeah, we'll put it here, so that we know where it is. And that's our coal and our obsidian. Okay, so what we're doing now is the signal imp. So, um, I made 16. That should, hopefully, be enough. Now, we're going to use... Uh, actually, I know that we can use thormium, so we might take that. We may end up having to make some more, but we should be okay. So, we're going to make a signal imp, thormium, and then we need to think about the... Um, the... <laughs> The bow, the bow strings, the fletches, the what are they? Bolts! Oh my gosh, the bolts. We kind of need to be person because we can't get out of the store. I think we're going to have to fix this and make a double. <gasps> Where's Kevin gone? Oh no. Rip Kevin. Well, how the heck did that happen? 
Well, that's... He was here yesterday and I logged in. So, I don't know how he escaped. Oh man, that makes me sad. Rip Kevin. Maybe we'll make a... <laughs> I know what we could do. We can make a... Oh, see, then that's in the way. We'll just break it down anyway. Man, that's... I don't I don't get it. How did he die? Just, just stupid piece of Kendrell Knight thingamajiggabob. That makes me sad. That's not going to work. At all. Ah, oh, what a fudge packer. Okay, well... We'll have to think of something else. We're going to have to... Yeah, that's sad. Because he was going to be our emerald guy. Huh. Anyway. Alright, so we're going to head up to the Tinker Smeltery. And put the signalum, signalum in to smelt. And I will bring you guys back once that has done. Because we've got quite a bit of everything in here. And we're going to try and make the very best thing that we can. Um with what we've got here. So I'm going to do a little bit of research as to what parts we need to make out of what. And just as the sun is setting, <laughs> I'll bring your eyes right back. Okay, so we've smelted up the signal and we've got 16 ingots in there and that's a good start. So we need to uh, make the patterns now. So we go here and we look up the crossbow. And we need to make the... Oh, it's not going to tell us. Oh, maybe the tool station we don't have because we made it here. Ahaha! <laughs> I knew that. Um, Alright, so it's a... We go to the stencil table and we need to make... I'll turn off any eye for a second. So we need to make the crossbow limb, the... what's this? Crossbow body, the string, uh, what's this bit? The bow limb, we need that piece. So, I think that's all. Let's check. Crossbow. Flame, that's a string. Alright, so we need uh, a tough binding. Which I'm pretty sure we have over here. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Which means we should have the actual stencil. Yep, there it is there. Tough binding. Oh, we had the... Oh, well, we had parts of it. Never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> tough binding... Uh, let's see. The tough binding. So that's that piece. That's that. We've got the string. We've got the tough binding. We've got the bow limb. Is that... Do we need the bow limb for that or do we need that for that? That's for that. Bow limb, bow string, bow limb, large butt. Oops. Never mind. Alright, so we've got our flame string. Let's go and make these parts now. So we need to put them... Oh no, we need to make the, whoops, we need to make the part builder first. Which should have cobble in it, yep. So we need, not the flame string, we need the crossbow body pattern, that one, and the crossbow limb, and then what we need to do for the string is actually put the string there, plus a flame string which turns it into nothing, apparently. Did I have it in the wrong spot? Do we need more than one? Oh no, what the heck? String enchanted... Flame string. That is flame string. Oh, there we go. <gasps> okay. And we need one of those. Alright, so that's given us our string part. So, we've got here. That's our string part. So we don't need that anymore. Plus we need that one and that one plus a tough binding. Alright, so let's go and make these, these casts. Take the stone crossbow. I don't know that we have any bronze in here. Do we have any gold? Let's see. We've got aluminium brass. That's what we need. So put that down there. Set that off. Yay! There's our crossbow limb part thingamajiggy. And then we'll put in there the... This is the crossbow limb part. I don't even know. Turn that on. How much have we got left? Quite a fair bit. That's good. Alright, so now that we have our parts, we're going to make... Put those out of the way we need to make. Okay. The crossbow body is going to be made of thormium. So, not thormium, <laughs> signalum. So I'll put this down the bottom. Just do that by clicking on it. Turn it on. Ooh, it's exciting. Excuse me. Oh, please don't like. 
Come on. You are there, right? Yes. Do we need more lava? Is that what's wrong? No. <gasps> oh, no. Uh-oh. Are you not going to work now? Uh. Okay, I'll do a quick bit of research and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed. I found out that I cannot use Signalum in... Because if you look there, there's Signalum. There is no Tinker's side to that one. So that's clearly in a different pack for me. <laughs> so we're going to have to remake those into in ingots and just leave them as ingots. And we're going to have to use... We'll probably end up using Alumite because uh, we don't have any Cobalt yet to make Ardite, which will be the next strongest one, which is kind of a bummer. So... <sighs> very disappointing. But that's what you get for playing two different packs, or four different packs, or however the case may be. Many, many different packs. <laughs> uh, so, we'll just go ahead and we'll make sure all this comes out. We could make a redstone clock right now. In fact, let's go and do that while that's sitting there. A redstone clock, basically, we need to also need a chest and a transfer, transfer node. Basically, what happens is it automates the smeltery. So... I'm not sure how to make it though. I've never made one. I just know that it works. So we go red stone clock. Here, uh, wait, hang on. Red stone clock. Let's go clock. There it is. This one. Um, oh gosh, that's easy. As I say, four stone, a red stone torch. So we get the stone from here, I believe. Gosh, we need an ME system. Ah, oh, maybe we'll skip the stone golem again and go ahead and start making our. Maybe not. We don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got a little bit of wood here we can make a torch with. Except we need all that redstone, don't we? Okay. Take one of those. We're going to have to get down mining because we're, we're getting a little desperate for resources. I will do that off camera. I'm not going to do that while you guys are here unless we have some kind of chatty chatty moment or something. I don't know. <laughs> Q&A maybe? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below uh, whether you want a uh, a q and a with lilac <laughs> so we need to transfer a node I don't think I have a spare one let's just check oh I do oh I have a lot oh because of the work okay oh and a chest we need a chest chest is not that box this one chest is we have one chest excellent all right so it's gonna sort of mess up our little organization up here but that's not that big of a deal really not really Ah, no! Give me back my redstone torch! Oh, no! That's not... No. No, no. No, no, no. Put that back. Yeesh, kebabs. Okay. Oof. That was different. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get up here and make this. We're going to have to rearrange the front of our smeltery a little bit. But that's that's to be expected. So we'll take these out and that one. And then we're going to pull out this. Put our chest... Actually, we might put the chest here, like so, and then our transfer node against that. And then we're going to put the redstone clock above it. Um, we're going to put that there, so then that automatically goes. We really should make a lever. Um, but that'll just go through. Yeah, we're going to need to make a lever because we don't really want it going through the aluminium brass and so on and so forth. So we'll just let it do that one. Break that down for a sec. Go and make a lever. I'll go and do that and I'll bring you guys right back. Alright, so put our redstone clock back. Put our lever straight on the front of it like so. We can turn it on and off. Easy peasy. Like that. See? So once it gets to the end of the... So we've got eight ingots there. That's heaps. And the beauty of it is just going straight down into our chest below. And we could set this up uh, once one whole row further this way um, and put the chest in there and then put it from each of these, but that's not really that big of a deal right now. We can work around the rest of it. So we've got four more ingots to go. And it also makes it very fast too. Much, much faster. So what are we up to? Three. Um, so then we need to work out what we're going to do for a crossbow because clearly now we can't... Oh, hello, zombie. Excuse me very much. Why do we say zombies? Uh, are we nearly done? We are done. Okay. Turn it off. Oh no! 
It made one of the aluminium brass. Never mind. So, we'll put that in there for now. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to smelt... We could still use the thormium. Um, what we might do is make it alumite. Cross. Hang on, let's look up cross. Bow. Can we make it out of alumite? Yes, we can. Reinforce. Two. Draw speed. So basically what we want to do is find the beastiest one we can. Thormic. Thormium. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of research here, find out what's going to be the best way we can do this, and then hopefully we'll be able to do it. Ultimately, I'd like Ardite, but... Oh, hang on, that doesn't even... That doesn't really match up. Alright, I'm going to just have a quick... Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so ultimately we really want to get the man Manulin, but we need Cobalt and Ardite for that, and it's just not going to happen this time. So... We're going to stick with Alumite, but I noticed that Thormium has a very fast draw speed. So we're going to try to utilize that as well. Hopefully get... We're going to do the binding out of Thormium. So we'll smelt the Thormium up first. No, we won't. We, <laughs> we might not be because... Ah, dear. Unless it's a case of... So how do we... Hmm. Where are the ingots? There they are. So we go... Hang on, we go uses. So... Yeah, there's the tinker's side of things, but do we not have... I think we're going to have to actually make it. Oh, that's a bummer. Alright, looks like we're going to be making it out of... Ah, uh, alumite after all. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so we're going to put down our tough binding. Let's just check check this theory first, because maybe we can put this in... Whoops, hang on. No, part builder, this one. Maybe we can put it in there, and then make it this way. And that's a big no. <laughs> okay, so there goes that idea. Never mind. Alumite it is. It's just... Let's just hope that it's really good. We'll have to put some modifiers on it and stuff. So we've got alumite, so let's just hit that one off. So that's the tough binding. It's going to be pink. It's not going to be purple. We need man manual and for it to be purple. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll get there. Put down the... Oh, it doesn't really matter which one we put down. Just put down one of them, please. All right, turn that on. Where did our tough binding thing go? Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. It's back. <laughs> Alright, so what are we up to? We're up to, we've got the tough binding, we have the crossbow body, and now we have the limb to do. And then we will need to make, where is, wait, go back down here, crossbow, alumite. Uh, the durability we can up as well. We do have some emeralds from our emerald dude. Not a whole lot, but we have some. So that's that. Alright, so we're going back over to our tool forge. And we're going to make the bow. So we have our flame string. We have our tough binding. Our crossbow limb and our crossbow body. And then we have one alumite crossbow. And it has an arrow speed of 9, modifies remaining 3. So, the next step will be to up everything and put an auto repair on. So, we can do this here. I noticed somebody the other day did this. I don't know if this is going to work. It's not going to work. Maybe that's on something else. <laughs> is it going to work for the auto repair? Yes. And we can get... Auto repair 2 on it means it repairs faster. We have no modifiers. That's excellent. <laughs> Alright, let's go back over here. See if we can put the speed on. And whether that's even going to fix. I'm not sure that it's actually going to work. <gasps> it is going to work. Haste. Alright. So we'll speed it up a little. And that puts it. Well, let's put it to 50. Like that. Take those out. 
put them up. One, two, three, four, one more. Makes it 50. All right. Now we want to put uh, some nether quartz on for damage, I believe, is what we need to do. Uh, so I'm going to have to go get that from down. We also need to make... Let's have a look. Let's see how bad ass. Bad. Bad. Bad boy we look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we need um, bolts. We need to make a lot of bolts. Not this one. This one. Uh, bolts. This one here. Bolts. Bolts of projectiles fired from crossbows. Bolt, claw, core, and fletching. So we need to do that too. So, oops. We need to get out of there. E, F, gosh. Bolt. Bolts. Okay. So we can make iron. Iron bolts. We want as high a damage as we can get. So... Alright, I'll do a bit of research. I'll take us back down and get uh, and, and get some nether quartz and things like that. And we'll work out what we're going to do for damage for the bolts. So I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so we're going to try and make aluminium bolts. So we have the tool rod. And you make uh, the, 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 the... What is it called? <laughs> the bolt core, I think is what they call it. Bolt, yeah, bolt cores are pour attained by pouring metal over a tool rod in a casting table. So we have our tool rod in a casting table. We have our alumite down the bottom. We don't have a whole lot of them, but let's see what happens if this works. <gasps> Why is it not? Oh, wait. Oh, it worked. Stone bolt. Oh. Okay. So if we hold this real quick, it has no fletching. So let's make, this is just a test. So let's go here, go to the bolt, the fletching. So we put that there. No? No. We put a feather here. Oh, we need the, <laughs> the stencil. <laughs> let's see, do we have, no. Okay, so we'll make the bolt shuriken, that's not it. Arrowhead, no. Fletching. Fletching pattern. Here we go. What does that say? Feather, slime crystal, slimy leaves, or oak leaves. We can make them out of oak leaves? That's kind of cool. Wait, no, hang on. Take the feather. Go here. That one plus that one gives us feather fletching. So we can go here. Bolt. And we got our bolt. And we got our feather fletching. <gasps> that makes 35? Whoa. Accuracy. Okay. One of those makes 35 bolts. That's just cool. All right, let's see. Let's morph. Let's see what this is like to um, actually use. All right, let's go find a bad guy. Here, bad guy. We could test on the sheep. Where's the sheep gone? There's a sheep. Where's the sheep? Where's the sheep? Where? Oh, there's a chook? No, I'm not going to waste on a chook. Uh, sheepers! There we go. Can we go clink? How do we... Whoa, my good gravy! That was fast. Whoops. Ow. Ow, he got me. Alright, we'll fix you. Wait, I don't understand. Whoa. We might be okay with this after all. Let's go find ourselves. I see a creeper. Can we kill a creeper with it? Where's the creeper? Where you at, creeper? I'm gonna come and get you. There he is. He's got a funky hat too. Okay, this is weird. We missed again. We can pick them up, I know that much. Ow. So can we get this one back? Sometimes we can pick it back up again. We can, okay. That's good to know. Whoa. There he is. Can we get you without blowing having you blow up on us? <gasps> Don't lag, computer. That's very slow.
How do we do this? Well, it's pretty fast once it gets there, but... Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay. This is gonna take some practice. Whoa, don't fall. At least I can pick him back... Ow! Pick him back up again. Ow! Let me learn. Hmm. Alright, this is gonna take some practice before we can do any killing of scary monsters. So I'm gonna do that. And hopefully, um... I have discovered a new way of setting up our power system to be able to... Whoa, that's a lot of creepers. Fabricate lava. So we're going to give that a go. Uh, we're going to try and set that up. Can I just get you with like... Like this? I have no idea if that worked or not now. Probably not. Go get our bolt. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. Let's just head back home. Um, this is definitely going to take some practice. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We now have a crossbow. Yay! It's going to take practice, which we'll work on. <laughs> uh, and next episode, we will, we'll, instead of doing the straw golem, we will work, continue working on our power system and our... Uh, with a spawner, that's that's our that's our aim at the moment. Um, so if you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to play a lot of like on that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Join the garden, become a petal, and help it grow. <laughs> don't forget to other, check out the other members of the Baycraft crew. All the links are in the description below. Um, but especially Lady Aylaro, who I am so grateful for for my roof. I love my roof. We need an elevator like right here in the middle. That'll have to be something we do. <laughs> Until next time, this is Silent Lilac signing off. Bye!